tried it with all of our might, but it just did not work out. So let's jump into this next set. Winners, semis, other side. We got Ling Ling fighting off against DM's Pikachu. Now, DM's another player that we didn't really expect to see going this far in the bracket. Um, ended up defeating the likes of um, Ralphie and 6WX earlier on to make his way towards winner semis to fight off against Ling Ling, the hero Peach. You know, and, and what's, what's weird about this is that, you know, Ling Ling from Connecticut, I yes, believe. Sir. Like, they're both from New England, but they don't get to interact with each other that much. Yeah, it's like how uh, Connecticut and New England aren't really, like, super close to each other. Right. It's like two and a half Connecticut's hours. Connecticut's New York, man. Like, come on. It's, it's that yeah. close. So we see more of Connecticut than New England does. Yeah, but we'll see but, how this works out here. Because um, in my... I said this earlier today. I think Pikachu's the best character in the game, so... I don't really think Debatable. Deba I, I, I think he's... I don't think there is a best character, in all honesty. I don't think there's a best character. The best characters are the friends we made along the way. Yeah, Nonetheless, there you though, go. Okay, there's that yeah. sap story. Sonic <laughs> says bullcrap. Oh, here we go. 92% on Peach. I like that cross-up coming out from DM, you know, trying to, you know, feel, feel him out a bit. See what, what his options are going to be out of shield. Because, you know, DM actually has a lot of practice against Peach. He plays against Nuggets all the time in Massachusetts. Yeah, without a doubt. Like, I don't think you'll be hard-pressed to find, like, a Pikachu with better Peach experience right now. Yeah. And on the other end of that, you can say that, like, Ling Ling doesn't really, I'm sure, play his fair share of P Pikachus. Yeah. Like, well, Ling, Ling, Ling Ling actually told me that he's been playing Pikachu since, like, 1999, like, against him. Like, he's, just, he's still the same way. He's, he, I, he, he believes that Pikachu has acted the same way for the past 20 years. He's like, there's no difference between any of the matches. <laughs> but hold on. I think that's something he wasn't seeing coming. That neutral air landing down with an up smash. There we go, DM, but just catches out the jump. And you know what? This might as well just be a two-stock match. Yeah, for real. We're playing Smash 4 again, baby. But Yeah, and so Ling Ling feeling insanely confident into this set. Yeah, and with Ling Ling, I'm always waiting for the other shoot to drop because he's one of the best beaches I've seen at getting that just touch yeah. of death combo. He's so good. At, uh, at converting all of his strings for as long as he humanly can, but and he, and he did defeat uh, Esam over at Pound. That's true. Later on, so he, he knows he knows the Pikachu matchup. Like uh, he, he, if he can beat the best Pikachu in the world, I, th I feel that's why he's probably feeling confident against DM. But DM's feeling himself on another another level right now. Yeah, Pika nice man. Pika nice man. There we go. Down smash coming out of shield. And honestly, with the final destination, kind of a crazy starter stage. I, I wasn't really expecting this to be like the stage one because normally, like Pikachu wants those platforms. There, there we go. go. Up air. No, that looked that? like a miss input, and Lingling Ling trying to capitalize, but fantastic mash out from DM. Tries to get away from his grip. You see DM again, just fading in and out with the quick attack, making good use of the quick attack to cross up uh, Lingling Ling on shield, and then you know being able to hit him with that low profile of Pikachu's back air. And DM's so good at landing down these neutral airs and just gets such good confirms off of them. Really respecting it, trying to catch that low recovery with a forward air. Catch the turn up, eats the double jump, neutral air to get him off stage. Goes for yet another trade, but DM flying in the opposite direction. Just goes for the Hail Mary forward smash from like East Coast. Yeah, man. Trying to send him to Cali. That forward smash has stupid range. So sometimes you can just kind of get away with yeah. just, uh, eh, this will probably work here. I mean, everyone's used to the Pichu forward smash, like, in comparison, yes. <laughs> Stay away from me, please. Okay, some uh, Thunder Jolt here going on. Forward air yet again. Ling Ling still living, 135%. Opting to go for the high recovery this time around. You see both players are trying to find out what the right option is. There we go, Peach Bomber is the correct one. And Ling Ling's respecting these back air out of shields from DM. He recognizes that, like, Pichu gets a lot of damage off of back air because of the loops. When you get stuck in the loops, you're done for. Forward air catching the roll. Really good option because it actually throwing out the thunder. Ling Ling capitalizing on it. There you Ledge go, forward jump. Air. Catch a root with that forward air. Still in at 154%. Trying to catch the landing with the forward air. Not going to be able to cat find its mark. And Ling Ling getting a conversion off of it. Yeah, using the fast follow with the forward air and then following with the up air. That was very interesting. You don't really see that too often. And this is where the hard part I feel like can come into Pikachu. Pikachu, you know, kind of has these awkward windows where it's really hard to net that kill. And Peach. A character that's very deceptively, like, heavy. It's weird. She's like a lead yeah. balloon, but the up throw will eventually get the job done. Oh, we're, we're moving here. Okay. <laughs> Got Ling Ling spawning right back onto the stage. Another forward air. Throwing out. And now at this point, the loops begin. This is what exactly what Ling Ling had to be aware of, because look at all that damage he just got off of that. Plus stage control. Pushes him off. Goes for the trade with the thunder. You know he would have gotten way more money for his uh, buck 
They managed to like try to get that Thunder to connect onto Pikachu instead. And, ooh, but missing with the forward air is Lingling, and that's gonna open up the door once again for DM. He was trying to catch him jumping into that Thunder. That definitely would have been enough to kill him. But the momentum from Lingling is so like the way he controls himself while floating is so impressive. Yeah, man, without a doubt. Trying to cast out ledge get up with the forward smash. DM looking for this opening. You see him approaching with the shield, looking for like that smash four tech a bit. Thunder jump point blank. Air dodge is in to get the cross up. I mean, if you're gonna do it, he had a double jump. <laughs> was that a bait? Did he want him to do that? That was crazy. One more time. <laughs> Did you see that one more one, time? One more time, go. Devin. All right, yes, so he got he sends him up flying. He's like, okay, if you're just gonna hold shield, I'm just gonna send you up here. Ba forces out the double jump with thunder as he's trying to come back down. Goes for the <laughs> upper. He is smiling. He's giving you that little cat smile, dog. <laughs> Look at that face. How could you be mad? Semicolon three, you man. <laughs> It, it, it makes it worse that he's smiling. <laughs> I'm in danger. When you got, when you got, when you got this run. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be game number one. Oh my God. Going to your boy DM. And honestly, that was looking like it was going to be Ling Ling's game to take. That was so good. And all, it, like, I, I thought for sure he was going to be able to you know, avoid that thunder, reset back to neutral, then try to challenge him and get caught by the little tail swipe. That was really, really good stuff there from DM. Mm. Again, this matchup is, is kind of, you know, I feel like it's hard on both ends, man. Yeah. Like, especially now that Peach has been, like, nerfed. So, I feel like both these characters kind of suffer from the same issues a little bit. You know, they're both really good at racking up damage. Both kind of struggle to get those kills without committing too hard to something. Right. The difference being Pikachu can always do up throw Thunder, and it'll, it'll combo, you know. And, Pikachu uh, has dash attack that'll kill you around, like, 120, 130, depending on how heavy you are. And both these, both these, both these characters want combo damage. Like, they yes. both want that, like, that little starter, whether it's back air or down tilt from the, each their respective characters, and they get so much mileage out of it. And honestly, people thought that Ling Ling was going to be, like, the person to win this and go into winner's finals and be fighting off against Gons. But DM is still a threat that he has going to have to counter. I mean, he's got this game win. He's got a lot of damage going up right now. Tries to throw Whoa. out the Thunder. Ca counters with a Parasol. Uh -oh. Are we going? Are we going, oh. to, are we going to space? Oh are we going God. to the grocery store? Let's go. That platform was moving. <laughs> we're going to the city, yeah. Austin. You're right. We were in the town earlier. Oh, my God. He wanted to land that forward smash so badly in front of him. Gets the Trump. What's another oh. forward smash? Again, I feel like that was Ling Ling expecting like Pichu range or something because that caught him very at the end. You saw him trying to dash in approach. Couldn't get the shield out in time. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you gotta learn how to play the brakes. I mean, if you're playing 200cc in Mario Kart, you gotta learn how to push that B button. <laughs> you lost me. You gotta break in 200cc. You lost me again. So back to the match, town and city. <laughs> uh, 83 damage on DM. And now DM can kind of like put the brakes on things if you want to. Uh, as you said, you know, you can kind of, he's going to see maybe do a, a little bit more of a slow down pace. Kind of just evading, waiting for Ling Ling to swing a little bit unsafely on his shield. Yeah, I mean, DM is playing reactively at this point. There we go. It's neutral air into the up air. Just to push, give himself some breathing room onto the stage. And he's trying to get as much, as much uh, damage off of the stock as possible, you know? 108%. He's chilling, just holds the simple shield, waits for the Peach Bomber. And uh, now DM's playing a keep away game here. Hold on a second. You see yeah. him go for the quick attacks. Whenever Peach tries to approach him, just opts to go for the up B to try to go to the other side of the stage. That's one of the, the benefits of them going to a big, big, big stage like Town and City. Catches the double jump with the, another forward air. Could try to seal this off. Looking Ooh. for it, he followed him so deeply. Oh, he was waiting for an air dodge. Yeah, he was just in the range for that to work. And again, Dash Attack still not going to kill just yet. The big stage of Town and City proven to be very beneficial here for uh, DM. And it's on Ling Ling's counter pick. That's the crazy yeah. part. Well, dash Attack? I mean, it wasn't Skull Bash, but it kind of looked like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 150%, three stocks on DM. Oh, God. Just getting nicked by the very last hit of. Uh, Good. I mean, when you're at when you're at that high, like it's not that big of a deal in EST, yeah. but still something you shouldn't be doing. That's the second time we've actually seen DM go for a miss input quick attack and just go directly up and nothing afterwards, because he gets a little he gets two jumps off of those guys. That is true. That forward air covers so much range. It covers if you don't do anything, as well as a, like air dodge away. Tries to use the skull bash to get back onto the stage. Manages to find his way back to home. Yeah. And now we're gonna see a lot of thunder jolt camping. You know, doing the. Uh do the old football strategy. Have somebody in front of you, then just follow up behind them. Yeah, and that's something that's that's extremely smart to you know to go for, because it allows you to, it forces out a shield or a jump or just a reaction out of the opponent, or else they're gonna get hit by something. 
forwarded off of the down throw. Ooh. Does that another thunder? Good evasion from Ling Ling, but it was all trapped. Goes for the initial out of shield, drags him down again. Wow. All this pressure being established by DM. Yeah, and poor Ling Ling hasn't even, he can't even have time to pull turnips. That's how quick DM is, uh, is on him. And he can just oh throw, he can throw out those thunders for free, man. Cat, you got a Peach Bomber, here's an up air. Up smash. Flying pressure, landing behind him. Does not Ling Ling be able to go for any out of shield option. I mean, honestly, he could have gone for uh, back air out of that shield. But just didn't realize what was going on. Yeah, it, it's, it's it looks like Ling Ling. I feel like he's already mentally moved on to the next yeah. game. Like it's very clear this isn't really working out uh, too good for him. CTM once again just yeah. using a quick attack, parallel to the ground, get him out of trouble. Goes for the down throw. He thought he was gonna go for the thunder, opt to go for the up air instead, and that is gonna be a great punish coming out from DM again. He was playing reactively. Ling Ling felt pressured, so he opted to go for the toad in a sort of like, please help me, my minion. But Pika's not having any of that. He, just, he waits for Toad to just disappear, not even protect the princess. Goes in with a dash tag. That's going to be a 2-0 lead Toad will hear about this DM. From, the, from the Royal Brigade later. Yeah. I just and, see the bands of Pokemon Stadium and Yoshi's uh, Island. Yeah, and DM from Massachusetts, you know, like he's ranked number seven in the New England area, so he, he's no slouch. But technically, Ling Ling is number four, so he's the one, you know, favored to win based on the PRs alone. Yeah, yeah, you can look at it that way. But DM is definitely one of, I feel like, one of the best kept secrets from New England. He doesn't really get to go out too, too often, but when he does, he usually garners pretty good results. No, yeah, I, he's displaying it, you know? He managed to get a 3-0 win over Ling Ling. Not only is that going to put him good on the PGR, it's also going to put him really good on his own personal PR of the Northeast region up in New England. Oh, yeah, and he's taking sets off of Mars yeah. and other top players in the, uh, in, New England, in the Massachusetts area before, so. Right. We'll see how things work out here for him as he's up 2-0 on Ling Ling, looking for a date with the Great Gonzalez in Winners Finals. And I feel like every single one of these games, they start off the same way. DM goes in, breaks the zone, starts establishing dominance with all the damage and pushing Ling Ling offstage every single time. It's, it's just, Ling Ling just can't catch a break. This time around though, we got platforms coming in, which is surprising. When I was talking to Ling Ling, he mentioned that he was definitely not gonna take him to Battlefield or anything with like Triplats, but lo and behold, that's where we ended up landing. I felt like maybe he wanted a close counters, uh, uh, you know, close combat type of situation, which Battlefield offers you. It doesn't. Uh, it allows DM not to be able to run away as much as he was doing on Town and City. Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely very interesting. But at least, albeit a much more even game to start out right here for Ling Ling. Buy him in a little bit of time, some coverage from these gnarly aerial combos from Pikachu. But doesn't matter once DM's able to convert off of the drag downs and stuff like that, just to reset the situation. Again, he's just doing a really good job, just kind of hanging out in the area of Ling Ling. Albeit it didn't really pay off for him right there, and look who came to play today, Austin. Yeah, Mr. Saturn, you got to watch your shields. This guy's really got to break in shields. <laughs> DM didn't even want that in the field. He said, get out of here. Get him out of here. You know that Ling Ling has way more experience with Mr. Saturn than you do, so might as well not even try to mess around with a potential game changer. I bet DM's never even played Earthbound. Well, I mean, I don't know. Forward air, got the kill, <laughs> crown, got the spike. Ow. Yeah, hurts. I don't think Peach is from Earthbound. So why does why does she get Mr. Saturn? I'm, I'm confused. Give there we go. Down sword. throw. Oh god. Another back air. I think he uses double jump. Has to go for the quick attack. He tried to go for the two frame with that up air. A little, little bit of a turn up. There we go. Ooh, just barely avoiding the neutral air right there. And once again. Now I feel like Ling Ling's the one that's playing more safe this time around. He's the one that's going for just a more of a punish game, right? Waiting for DM to smack against his shield and go for the safe options out of shield. Yeah, that's sometimes all you gotta do, man. I feel like Ling Ling was trying to dictate the pace too hard. I thought he was gonna get a grab. I don't think I don't think he recognized what was going on because DM just dipped out of there as fast as possible. Yeah, that looked dangerous. I mean, went dip. Okay, we're chilling. Ling Ling just going for the simple jump, turns the tables on him. Uh oh. Goes the turn up, forcing out the quick attack. Ops to go back to the stage. Neutral air upon the whiffed tack. That's going to be a three-stock lead for Ling Ling. This might be the counter pick he was looking for. Yes, and out of tables of turn almost completely, like you just said. Now Ling Ling on three stocks to one here. Let's see what the answer is going to be from PM here. Okay, rolls to the ledge. Goes over the quick attack, back and forth, connects the forward air. It's going to be the first stock going to DM, but might be too late, man. At this point, you know, even if DM loses this game, he still has a pretty strong lead. So it wouldn't be too terrible for him. But you know he wants to try to end this with, that, with a 3-0 as well. Yeah. You never want to give up games. You never want to give your opponent hope. Right. That's the thing in these situations. If you give them hope, they give them the moment momentum. Make sure to throw your opponent into despair, you know? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't give me that hope. Yeah. I think I guess the grab from Ling Ling. Try to go for the neutral air as well to catch that second bit of quick attack. 
Ooh, okay, once again, we able to reset the situation with the drag down. The classic double up burn to the forward air. Gets another one, drags him down. Uh, he wanted the final swing of that forward air too. He didn't get the knockback he was looking for. That could have potentially killed Lingling Ling too. Another burst option with that dash back thrown out the thunder. Lingling Ling just opting to go right through the masses. That could have been really, really bad for DM there, but able to live to see another day. Still trying to fight a way to stock here from Lingling, Ling, or we're going to a game four. The up throw to put him airborne. It's exactly what Pichu wants, but because he went for the thunder, Pikachu gets caught by the forward air. This time around, Lingling Ling knows not to try to go for the double jump or air dodge away. Just simply drift away, come back in with the forward air, get the kill, punishing the down B. That's going to be Lingling Ling finally going into game number four with a 2 1 deficit still today. Yeah, that was a really good game there for Ling Ling. Like you said, the counter pick definitely paying off in uh, spades right there. So now that tables, turn to DM. Let's see what the options are going to be uh, for him. Not sure if Ling Ling's going to opt to use the tablet or not for the people at home, but it's all good if he doesn't. So we're going to jump into the next one, man. Game four, like I said. And DM, honestly, if he, if he just goes back to like a big stage, right, I think this is where he was thriving. He thrives off the way bigger stages. He was not doing so hot on the triplats because of how small the stage was. He does he does a fantastic job, which is why it looks like he's looking over at Unova currently. Unova might be the gameplay to go for here because with Unova, you know, it's like PS2, but it also has like the walls, which yes. are going to be imperative for Pikachu. That Thunder Jolt can go up the, up the wall while he's trying to, in the middle of recovering and help him with the recovery by covering his landing. Yep. And we got Pikachu Libre costume coming Ooh. out. Is that, I mean, is, that the match the, is that the match the song? It, it, it sounds wrestler, <laughs> wrestler S. Now this is Lord Key Brasinia from, yeah. I believe this is Omega Ruby and Apple Sapphire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. There we go. Like you said, uh, this is actually the first time I've seen the stage all day, so. You don't see Unova off too often. Unova nice. Everyone needs to yeah. stop being cowards. Don't at me. We go. Uh, that could have been a free back air, but I think he was looking for more damage. He would have got way more off of the grab, potentially. I'm not sure. Okay, down tilt into the dash attack. The DM's doing off oh, to a great boy. start. This is not good. Okay, just jump out of there. Don't even try to mess around with it. Defusing and, bombs are for professionals, yeah. and that's neither of them. And honestly, whenever I see Ling Ling get a bomb on, I feel like he always tosses it like immediately. But there we go. Down tilt's going to give him a lot of damage. Already puts him at 49 off of that entire exchange. Yeah, and that's, a, that's just how quickly the gaps can close against Peach. You know, if you know, as you're fighting against Peach, all you, you need to be so on your toes the whole time just to avoid that one deathly combo hit. Okay, too far away for that grab to connect. Even though Lingling Ling did catch Lingling, Ling, holding a shield grab was the right answer. We just need to go a bit closer. Yeah, there's a lot of skirting around for both players. Just kind of. Feeling each other out. You see Ling Ling opting to play more on the back foot, like you said, because he's waiting for DM to kind of hit a button. Like, you can kind of get lost in your own uh, mojo sometimes, where you're like, all right, I'm going to, you know, press forward as often as I can. And Ling Ling's just like, okay, I'm just going to sit and shield and wait for you to do something. Every single time you see Ling Ling corner DM, he's always out of there immediately with the quick attack. I feel like it's so easy for Pikachu to escape that ledge. Dash attack, very, okay, we got a spot dodge? I don't know about that one. Maybe he thought he was gonna go for a grab immediately, but you could punish the dash attack. That's just a simple uh, out of shield back air. Could have smacked him away, but now Ling Ling getting a little weird with those counters, and Ugh. what was that? DM, I, that was miss input, had to have been. Dash attack, 112%. Stand yeah, out DM, yeah, just trying to extend his lead. See, once again, playing the slow game, but trying to break zone and go with the quick attack and a great reaction from Ling Ling to throw out that neutral air. Now he's still in center stage, gets caught by the golf swing. Looking like Tiger Woods catches him flying 150% on DM. Uses the Thunder Jolts to cover his ledge, you know, landing to get back onto the stage. And I've been loving the use of uh, as that forward air. Once I love the use of forward air always, but I love the use of reverse neutral uh, or raw neutral air, uh, up air. Uh, from DM, just because it's so good at shifting Pikachu's hurtbox while also getting the meaty part of the hitbox. So you don't have to worry about getting nicked by Peach's, uh, you know, very potent aerial game. Yeah, and that, that's like, that's the key that you said, right? Whenever he's like in the air like that, Peaches love being in the air because of the float cancel. It gets that extra mileage, you know, extra massive amount of, amounts of damage. Now we see the thunder coming out. It's just a quick... When, when you get caught by that thunder from Pikachu, it's so silent. You don't even know it's coming because you, you, hit, <laughs> you hit him before he even said Pika, but the thunder comes out. I think it's like the first game that actually did that because usually the Pika comes out like frame one, like that sound bit. Pika! Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's what he says, Koopa. And it's his name. Can't confirm. 
Okay, dash attack to catch that landing upon the quick attack. Once again, Ling Ling trying to get himself back in the thick of things here. That was dangerous. He called out the jump at his shield, but because DM stayed in place, didn't get caught by the up smash from Ling Ling. Trying to those forward airs just in case Ling Ling wanted to drift to the left, but Ling Ling opting to just stay back, waits for the opportune moment to go for the Peach Bomber to catch that ledge. Now we're still sitting at two stocks. DM waits for that Peach Bomber. He wanted to go for the punish, but was too slow. Got spot dodge coming into play. Ling Ling getting the punish right afterwards. Puts it back on the stage, but again, a beat. Get out of the get out of corner free card. Yeah, and now Ling Ling has closed the gap significantly than what it was before. Just DM, he's having a really hard time keeping Ling Ling at the ledge. Like, Ling Ling's been able to get off the ledge relatively scot-free for the entirety of this set. Right there, you know, he timed himself with the Thunder Jolt to get back onto the stage. Oh my goodness. The micro space that provoked these guys is insane. And there we go, Bear out of shield. Gets the job done. Yeah, he can easily close this out. All he needs is one back air, one grab, one forward air. Okay, Ling Ling playing patient. You saw him jump and opting to recover high, using the platforms to his advantage. Very risky dash attack, but again, you know, he didn't get to take too much damage for it. This is death. No. Put him in a bad spot, looking for the thunder. Opts to go for the forward air instead. Drifting off, takes the trade, and he died for it. Nice trade for DM, man. <laughs> you should be a car dealer. <laughs> you see Ling Ling taking his sweet time, getting down to the blast zone, buying him a little bit of time, a little bit of breathing room. Up airs for days. Back air, the loop central. We got support Thunder Jolts, catches the roll onto the stage with that down air. Good coverage. Takes the turn up out of it. He's like, I don't want this. Pikachu, eat your veggies. <laughs> okay, more Thunder Jolts from the edge of the stage. 26 back air. This back air has been really DM saving grace this whole time. Okay, that could have been really dangerous. Oh my god, he caught the neutral get up from the ledge. Yep, the range of Pikachu's forward smash once again, rearing its ugly head and forcing Ling Ling to, you know, fight from a deficit once again. And Quick Attack actually poked up Ling Ling into the air. That could have been devastating, but now DM retreating back to the center stage. He's barely been touched this stock ever since that trade happened. I just feel like he's carrying so much momentum. They could easily try to close this out and end this set and move his way on to winner's finals. He's so close to doing it, but Ling Ling's still in there. Oh, oh hold on, like never it? mind. Forget I said anything. He landed right on top of him with the neutral air, got the up smash right afterwards, and that's going to be a victory going in DM's favor, putting Massachusetts on the map against Ling Ling, getting, moving on into winner's finals to face off against the great Gonzalez. An upset. Very nice stuff. Definitely yeah, an upset. Number seven versus number four. Yeah. <laughs> and it, that's crazy because I, Ling Ling said he felt 100% confident fighting against Pikachu. Like I said, he's beaten Esam in bracket over at Pound. And he feels confident against Pikachu since the beginning of time. Or beginning of Smash, anyways. You know, beginning of time was 1999, apparently. <laughs> and, uh, but it just it didn't matter. No one was, he didn't expect like the raw power that DM was going to throw out here. And he was down. But right, it was that trade. I think that yep. that did something to Ling Ling or, or DM, one of the two, because DM carried so much momentum right after that moment. He barely took any damage. In fact, he, I don't think he got hit. Yo, no, he, that was go. zero dead. The drag down into the up smash. Gets it done. There we go. The frame one fist bump, man. <laughs> the deep breath. There you go. Shoot, you man. know he's feeling it, dude. But there we go. Winner's finals has been decided, guys. The great Gonzalez from New Jersey fighting off against DM from Massachusetts. It's yeah, going to be a power hitter. But before we jump